I'm Grace O'Sullivan. Um, my business partner, Christy Hansen and I launched Avoila earlier this year. We were inspired to develop this line of clean plant-based skincare products uh, that feature organic avocado oil. We both have had different skin issues um, in the past and we both had really good um, response to avocado oil and sort of the, you know, the power of those um, nutrients in avocado oil. So we wanted to create a skincare line that kind of played off of that and the wellness that's, that's related to avocado oil for your skin. You know, I guess, you know, the million dollar question, like first and foremost for you is like, what, how has this new climate impacted your business plan? Luckily, our, our business plan was always to be online in year one. And so being online, you know, Perfect. Yeah. sense, you know, year two, we were hoping to move to retail or e-tail. Um, but, you know, considering what the brick and mortar businesses are going through right now it's you know it's devastating and so um for the for the near future thinking about online and remaining online still is is our focus so then have you had to triage really anything or i wouldn't say triage i think that that i think for us that's probably a little um extreme like luckily we invested in social media from the beginning and i think focusing on um those communications and what those needs are for our customers is continues to be just just really important. So just you know making sure that we stay relevant to them as they're they're navigating through this time period um, just the same as we are as a business. And so making sure that we stay connected to them I think is, is super important. They're they're taking in content. You know they are they're looking right. online for information that that makes them feel good or makes them feel better or makes them um, think about things you know differently and so they they really are um, you know, we're growing our social media audience. That's continuing to right. grow, and that's great. And that social media audience is going to be more important than ever. Do you think that this is going to change, like, your industry at all? I think, well, I think the future of um, beauty in general has been changing, I think, for the last couple of years, right? This, this shift to, um, to clean beauty and non-toxic skincare, I think that's been a shift that's happening. And I think that people will, if anything, be more discerning with the products that they choose and what they choose to kind of put on their skin and, and take. So I think that in that way, it's going, to, um, it's going to stay on the same trajectory. That said, if you think about the experience of beauty and skincare, the, the stores like Sephora and Ulta and Lush and being able to go in and feel a product and smell it and see what it's like, you know, that's definitely changing and it's the struggle I think is how do you get people to experience your product so video whether it's produced video live video um, testimonial video however you can get people to understand and get a better sense of what it is they're going to get before they get it um, that's I think that's going to be uh, even more important moving forward so I guess so from what you're saying you know your repositioning is really that is really the, the video, um, you know, more social media, um, not really, you're not really changing anything about your product. It's just really the way you're communicating. Is that right? Yeah, the way we're communicating, the way we're connecting with people. And I think being flexible, I think, I think making sure that you are aware of what's, of what your audience is doing online. You know, they're, like you said, they're on more video calls. How can you be there for them um, when they're feeling anxious about being on video <laughs> or on the camera, right? That they're not used to. And um, I think staying, you know, staying connected with the world as we kind of go through this to make sure that um, that your message is um, has integrity, you know, and, right. and connects with people. So, do you have any tips on you know working uh, remotely? I guess you've always worked remotely, right? Yeah, we've always worked remotely, um, and we actually always worked remotely, even when we were at uh, an agency together. She okay. was always That's how you met. Agency. That's how we met. So we yeah. started working by coastally early on. So that was never a challenge for us. But I think ignoring the fact that there's a global pandemic is not going to help anyone. Right. right? right. People need they need to take care of themselves. They need to take mm -hmm. care of their families, their moods, <laughs> their stresses, right. their anxieties, and giving people the space to do that is going to make them more productive and more effective 
when it comes to, to business. Um, because someone who's stressed out and thinking about having, you know, a hundred things in their head is not really going to be focused on, on, you know, making the best business decisions. So I think we all have to make sure we take a breath and focus on taking care of ourselves and taking, making sure other people have that space. Right. And then we can, and then we can do, you know, what we, what we want to do to be successful. Everybody go check out Avola. I, I really love your website, actually. I love the tone of the words of the narrative. I think it's really Thank you. I really appreciate that.